Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. So you have a crush and you're pretty sure they don't know you exist, or at least that you like like them, or well, yeah, they probably don't know who you are for now. <laughs> Hold the cackling laughter. No, I'm not plotting a diabolical plan for world domination. I'm simply gonna give you some tips that will get your crush to know your name. Here are six surefire ways to get your crush to notice you. Number one, don't be afraid to meet their gaze. <sighs> Who doesn't love looking blissfully into the eyes of the dreamiest person in the room? Do you enjoy taking quick glances at your crush? Well, what if these were an exchange of glances? Often a lot of people will turn away when their crush notices them staring at them. But instead of letting that fear engulf you enough to divert your eyeballs as far away as possible, hold them there just a second longer. <sighs> Good old eye contact. Difficult at times, but very helpful in getting someone to notice you. You don't need to stare your crush straight in the eyes for like 30 seconds, but simply give them a look and a sweet smile once they notice you. Don't shy away from the inevitable. Yeah, you were noticing them. Now let them notice you. They'll not only be flattered, but they'll think about you a bit longer than if you had turned away quickly as if you looked their way by accident. Number two, take some baby steps. It can seem a bit intimidating approaching your crush. You might think that you need a huge list of topics to discuss in your first encounters with them, but try taking some baby steps and paying them a compliment, cracking a witty joke, or asking how they're doing. Maybe ask a question about something they're working on, or their outfit, or something interesting they said. Another classic, good old communication will surely get someone to notice you. Start the engagement with them. So then if they like you back, they won't feel as intimidated as you were before to talk to you again. Number three, show them your talents and skills. Do you have a passion you're pursuing? A skill that you've mastered? A natural talent? Well, if your crush is around and you have an opportunity to show off a bit of your personality, talent, and skills, why not? Your crush may just be impressed by your creative sketches or your fluency in French. Maybe you're a stand-up comedian in the making and write your own jokes. Share one or two and see if the laughter follows or embrace the awkward silence. Confidence, my friend, confidence. Number four, show off who you really are in actions and style. Okay, so you've given them a sample of your talents and skills, but you can also show how kind, caring, and gracious you are through your actions. Offer to help them with the task the teacher assigned. Ask them how their day was. Share some of your knowledge to help them with the project they're working on. And there are other ways you can show a bit of your personality as well, through your style. Don't be afraid to dress to impress yourself. Staying true to yourself and your fashion sense will only attract more people who are actually attracted to you, not someone you're trying to be through someone else's style. Number five, use open body language to seem approachable. So maybe you've said a few words to your crush, maybe you haven't, but one way to catch someone's full attention once they already see you is to appear approachable. You can't just be interesting and stylish and that's that. You need to look approachable and friendly, otherwise they might shy away from saying hello to you. So how do you do this? Try displaying open body language by keeping an upright posture, not crossing your arms, and keeping your head up and looking out. We may appear closed off and not interested in what's going on around us if we have our arms crossed and are looking down. When you can, keep that posture upright, that gaze out to the world, and let your pearly whites show. And number six, show them you care and get to know them. So maybe you've shown you're pretty kind to others, some interesting skills, and a talent or two, but now you can show them you care about them. Get to know your crush a bit by asking about them, their hobbies, interests, passions. If you have something in common, go with it and keep the conversation going. Grow it towards more than a shared interest, but a discussion about why you both love what it is you're passionate about. What about it makes it your one and only passion? They'll likely share what drew them to their passions initially too, or why they got into their career or what's going on lately in their life. The point is to show them that you care by actively listening and expressing your genuine interest when possible. Next time you see them, mention your previous conversation. Ask about something they were worried about last time. Show you care. If you show you've been thinking about them a bit, they'll sense your authenticity and may just like you a bit more in the process too. If all else fails, another one of your classic stand-up self-written jokes could work too. Why did this like to go or cross the road anyways? To get to the other side? No, but that's the chicken. This one will need some work. Maybe save the jokes for later, after they notice you some more. So do you think your crush will notice you? Which talent or skill will you show them? How will you show that you care? 
And why did the psych to go across the road? Does anyone know? Let us know in the comments section down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or someone who could use it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.